Good morning and Merry Christmas, gamers. I hope you all had a fantastic time with your friends and family. And I'm coming at you today because it is the season of giving, and I wanted to give a gift to all of my Super Mario 64 brethren. I'm going to give not just any gift, but a gift that people thought was only a myth, that only existed in legend. But today, I'm going to present to you a surefire way to get a 100% consistent cannonless texture setup. Everyone who has ever seen speedruns of Super Mario 64 knows about Canonless. It has been no short of a cancer in the game ever since it was founded many, many, many years ago. Which is why I'm going to show you exactly how Mario's ledge grab mechanic works. Yep, Mario's ledge grab is the key to this entire trick being consistent. Which is a topic that gets passed up in every single Canonless video out there. So let's fix that and take a deep dive look into texture setup. Getting too cannonless is obviously the easy part, but once you get to the plank, the fun begins. You want to stop at the fourth coin in this line and hit C left two times in order to get this specific camera angle. Also make sure that you are in C up camera. Your setup should look like this. There are actually multiple spots along this plank that will and will not work. Watch this comparison and notice how the slightest difference changes the outcome of the trick. The only time to truly see if your setup will work is after Mario has grabbed the ledge. Mario's hand position will determine whether or not your setup will be successful. There are only a couple of ledge grab positions that result in a successful cannonless, which means you can learn to visually see if your cannonless will work before you attempt it. Now we need to talk about getting from here to a consistent ledge grab position. Most people will tell you just to pick a spot on the plank and walk off, but what they don't tell you is how you should walk off the plank. Mario's ledge grab will change depending on the angle in which he walks off the edge. This is the part of the video where I want to warn you that the plank texture might look different depending on what platform you're using, especially if you're using emulator over N64. Once you're in this spot with this specific camera angle, you can look for a visual cue. Your default walk-off angle should be directly down. This will ensure a consistent ledge grab as you find your visual cue. I like to have Mario's big right toe pointed directly at this large speck on the plank. I always look for this dark spot next to Mario's hand. If it looks like this, then I know my cannonless will work. Mario will get a different ledge grab position depending on what angle he has when going off the edge. This is really important to note because you can actually use this to your advantage if you're slightly off target. If you need to be slightly more right, go to the right. If you need to be slightly more left, go to the left. And once you put all of this together, it truly is that simple. And that's everything you need to know. Find out what visual cues work best for you and practice getting that consistent ledge grab. Once you get a feel for how Mario's angle changes the ledge grab position, you'll be nailing cannonless with 100% consistency, guaranteed. Can I say that? Yes, guaranteed. I'm pretty sure I'm not legally liable for this statement, so why not? Go out, practice, become the myth everyone wants to be, and have that 100% consistent cannonless. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Subscribe, and have a good night.